Hey everyone, it is Monday 27th of April and I don't know what the time is, I just know it's gone 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so this is going to be a video about lights because I've acquired a whole bunch of old fluorescent lights. Some of them older than others and we'll have a look at those in a moment. Um, anyway. My regular viewers and my friends will know that I've got a very big interest in anything lights. I've got emergency light bars, as you know. I've got the amber warning light bars and beacons. I've got table lamps. I've got novelty lamps, such as this traffic light. <laughs> I've got decorative lights, such as my little flamingo over here, which... I've actually finally remembered that someone several months ago wanted me to do a video on these and I totally forgot, sorry about that. So I've got my little decorative flamingo, I actually want some more of these. Um, <laughs> the bike lights, I've got hundreds of these as well, that's not an exaggeration either. I literally do have hundreds of bike lights, old ones, new ones. All the bikes I ride the most have got the decent modern bike lights on. So yeah, I just like anything lighting. Anyway, I was on a bike ride yesterday. It's the first time I've decided to go on a bike ride since lockdown began. Usually I have just ridden my bike to the shops and down to mums and whatnot. Um, I'll explain more about going to mums in another video because there's two videos of what I do today. This is just video number one. Anyway, I saw this skip outside a shop, so it's in a public area, kind of, sort of on some parking spaces, and it had all these fluorescent lights on the top. I had just been refurbishing a shop where the skip was, and I suppose I could have just gone and helped myself. I don't think anyone would have said anything. No one actually said anything when I was there anyway. But I thought, knowing my luck, I would do that and a copper will come past and question me and probably make me put everything back like they normally do. Because they've done that to me before. <laughs> Even though it is, you know, discarded rubbish, no one would probably give a rat's ass. but um, because it wasn't far from a guy I know, I've got him as a friend on Facebook, um, he's quite in the know with a lot of things, especially in that area when shops are being um, refurbished and whatnot. So I thought, I'll try my luck and I'll ask him to see if he know who owns the shop or who's been doing the work in the shop and see if I can get permission to go and grab what I want from it. And funny enough, he did and he messaged the guy and I got permission to go grab some bits. Um, But uh, because of the phone I use is broken, it's got no SIM card in it. I just basically use it as a mini tablet, if you like. I took photos of the conversation on the computer. So if anyone did ask and did want to see some evidence, if you like, it's there. I could have probably just got away with saying, yeah, I know the guy, you know, I've asked the guy, he said it's all right. But uh, you never know. <laughs> so, I took my hand cart, walked around there because it's just around the corner. It may have been collected now because that skip was quite full. And I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fluorescent light fittings. Now, I've, I admit, when it comes to, you know, commercial lighting like this I do like. I've got a soft spot for fluorescent lighting and I've got some oldies here that I've managed to um, rescue and also before I continue believe it or not there is Facebook groups specifically for people who are like fluorescent lighting believe it or not. I've been on it for months you know naturally I like all things lighting. I'm on street light groups as well there's all sorts of lighting enthusiast groups out there. There's even one for fans, ceiling fans and lights. 
the internet has opened up, you know, a whole big door for people with all these interests. You know, before the internet, I thought I was the only weirdo that liked lights. <laughs> I found out I'm not. And I've actually found out I'm not really a weirdo either. Because I suppose if I am, that means everybody else that's into this is. And I don't think they'd appreciate being called weird. <laughs> anyway. I've got a light fitting here that we're going to connect a cable to. I've already made one up. I've already tested this light fitting. I've got my flamingo light caught around it. <laughs> um, and I wired it up wrong. I didn't check the colours. But uh, with a fluorescent light you get your little connector block, chocolate block, and your three wires and your live, your neutral and your earth. Earth is usually in the middle because it's you, the um, connector block is usually connected to a little metal tag that comes up from the fitting and that is your earth. So the connector block just screws to that and then you connect your earth wire from your power supply into that. So it's usually in the middle. So I presume that without checking the colours, plugged it in and tripped straight out because obviously the live just went yeet, around the circuit straight down the earth. Not good. <laughs> really not good. Anywho. Put that lead back there. I'm going to bring you this one. Really, I only wanted two fittings from the skip, but I thought I might as well gather the lot. If anything, I've got some spare fittings and tubes. But what I wanted were these two. These are twin tube fluorescents. I'll screw that back on. Um, I did have two tubes, but when I got home, I found that the end cap was broken on one. Couldn't find the other two tubes. I've only got one shade. I've only got one cover and that's got a chunk missing but I'm going to put it up here above my railway and I'm going to put the side that's got the bit missing towards the wall so you can't really see it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one, it might be a spare, I might chuck it up on the ceiling somewhere, I could put it in the hallway for shits and giggles, make the flat look like an office with all this sort of office lighting in it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've got a couple of of these which I think are Fitzgerald fittings. Um, I haven't found a name on them. I've got one similar fitting just over here which is spares because it's missing all the gubbins in the lamp holder to put the tube in so I'm just going to take the um, ballast out of that one or the choke as they also call it and a couple of other bits and then just scrap the rest of it. And I've got another older light fitting here that we can't test in this video because I've got to um, repair some wiring in this. But this is a Crompton branded one. It's got that style of lamp holder on the end. This one actually has the metal cover. The one that we're going to test first doesn't have the metal cover, unfortunately. But uh, it seems the electrician was getting a bit bored by the time he got to this light and this one. Because uh, he's just cut through the cable there. <laughs> And on this one, he's done the same. He's cut through several wires. So, I've got to repair them. I've got to try and reattach wires to the uh, ballast here. Oh. Well, for testing purposes, I could just do that. So I need the live coming in to go to that one. And then I've got the neutral that goes down to the other lamp holder. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work without the capacitor. I've got a light fitting here that doesn't have one installed. But looking at all the other fittings, the capacitor literally just goes between the, or across the live and neutral. So it is there if I need it. I don't know if it's polarised. But there is no wiring on it. Maybe the wires just got ripped off. But I will pull that capacitor out of that one as well and just make sure. I might actually ask on the groups actually to see if they're polarised because I don't know a great deal. I know how to wire them up and how the circuit goes, but I don't know if that capacitor is going to be necessary. Because like I said, the broken one doesn't have one in it and there's no place to wire one in. There's no evidence that one was ever wired into it. Anywho, down here... over there. I've got this fitting here so we're going to put the cable on here. Screwdriver in my back pocket. 
I'm not going to do what I did last time and connect the neutral to the earth and the earth to the neutral. So, for some weird reason, I've got the neutral in the middle. This is a very small connector block for this as well. And this is actually probably the oldest light fitting here. Um, one you can tell from the cap and the size of the ballast. And this is an A this is an AEI um, fixture. Uh, but the biggest giveaway is the colour of the wiring. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it from there. But it's red, black, and plain green. Not modern colours which are brown, blue, and green and yellow. So blue goes to black, because in old school colours black is your neutral here in the UK. Brown goes to red, and in old school colours the red is your live, or your hot as the Americans call it. Is there anywhere else that calls it a hot wire? I can't remember. Do they call it that in Australia? We just call it a live here, all positive. Ah, is it really positive as it's an alternating current? Dun, dun, dun. But this is the fitting that I don't have the cover for. Right, where do I put the tube? Well, there I put the tube. So I've got this one. The tube's a lot newer than the fitting. But I like this. Because it's got a plunger fitting there, look. You push it in. <laughs> I actually like that type of holder more than on the um, newer ones where you put them up and you know you twist the tube to lock it in a place. Anyway, I already know this one works but I'm gonna show you this anyway. There we go. That ballast does make quite a buzz. That starts pretty quick as well. Considering its age, I'm guessing 1960s, maybe 70s I might actually take a photo of this one as it is and post it to that for us like group to see if I can get some info on it. There we go. We are working. So I'll take this wire off and uh, put another one on this uh, makeshift bench. <laughs> Alright, so the one I'm not going to test in this video because I need to do a lot of uh, work to that first. Is there any sort of logical reason to do any work on it? No, not really. None at all. No benefit or anything. It's not needed, it's not worth anything, but I want to. I want something to do, so... Right. I'm just going to lay this over on the bed, so bear with me. That one is quite a heavy fitting, actually. Okay, next guinea pig. Let's go for this one, shall we? Take that off there before that falls. So you're probably wondering, or you might not be, you might not even give a shit. But oh yeah, I picked this up from the skip as well. I was going to put that in the kitchen. Let to figure out how you wire it up. <laughs> they broke it off, look. <laughs> well, you know when the electricians have had enough for the day. Right, you have then. So the camera shut off behind my back. <laughs> but I've just taken the wires off of that foot and I've just noticed my power is going down. That is an old piece of wire, look at that. <laughs> Plain green, sleeved sleeved all the way through earth. I've never seen a grey cable like that with the earth sleeved all the way through. A bit of filler or something stuck on it there. I might actually keep hold of that bit because there's an interesting bit. Never seen that before. That's, it's smaller than this. That is probably a 1mm cable. Not the 1.5. Anyway, we've got that off. All I've got to do is whack the cable on this end. Am I in shot up here? Just. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying before the camera shut off, what is it about lights that I like? Uh, well, 
you can create so many different sort of atmospheres, you know, illusions, optical illusions with different types of lighting. You can just do so much with it. I find some of it so interesting. It's so decorative as well. It's got so many different purposes. This is a bit tricky because you've got to get your hands in the fitting to stick your wires in the holes. Right. One more than I can stuff a tube in here and actually find out if any of these tubes work as well. I've got the wires round the right way this time. This one has actually got the earth in the middle. Like I said, there's a little metal tab. I don't know if you can see my screwdriver right there that comes up from the chassis. That's basically what holds the uh, connector block in place as well. Right, I've just realised, is my tube going to go in there? That cable sticking out the top. And these ones I've just got springy caps. So I'm going to start by poking it into there. And I should be able to spring both ends open enough to do that. Very big tubes. You can put the uh, newer, smaller tubes in there, or narrower tubes. Well, it tripped out. But it hasn't started either. Right. That's because the starter wasn't twisted into place. It. Right. Should we try again? star twisted loose. Right, success, we have another one. So, what I'm actually going to do, do need a bit more force to get these tubes out though. That's probably the dirtiest bloody fluorescent tube I've got here as well. I don't know why that one's so dusty. I know the shop hasn't been empty that long. Right. Don't want to use this light yet. So, that's not the right cover. That one is, just put the cover on. Ah, can't put a cover on that end because the screw's missing. So, can't put the screw on that end because it's missing. And then this one. probably find a screw to put in there as long as I've got one in there to hold this cover on. So yeah the actual bit the screw goes into is there so I'll just do that. I don't know what else I'll do. If I can find it. Did I chuck it up here actually? Just looking for a roll of tape. I had a loose roll of tape, just yeah, the here it is. I'll just put that around this end just to keep the cover on. I'll just make uh, storage a bit better. Tubes in. Do I put the tubes in? I well, know that one works, so. Yeah. I'm not going to put the shades on though because they are a pain in the ass to get them broken. Right. So. Identical. I don't have another one of these, so I'm going to have to put the uh, spare tube in this to see if it works. I might put the other uh, clip on at the other end. Oh, hello. 
Oh, I see. Ah, I see. I see. It has got numbers stacked on this. I just can't see what the uh, numbers and the writing is. I've probably got a very good view of my head right there. Come on, slide across. Okay, we've got a name on the ballast because sometimes I stick it on there. It's a thorn. I'm just wondering if that's what the other one is then, a thorn. Right, where's the end of my cable? Here's the end of my cable. I've got to wire it in the other end. None of these earth wires were sleeved. Naughty, naughty. Got to sleeve your earth wires, people. Shot. Yes, we are good. How much longer my battery is going to hold out? I'm, I'm hoping we can get at least one of the doubles in. Okay. Might actually, be just easier if I do this because then I haven't got to fight the bloody cable, have I? I can just do that. time-consuming part. If only these had like quick connectors. <laughs> if I had enough cable I could have just made the um, whole bunch of test leads up and connected them all up so I just had to plug them in. But there's no fun in that is there? Wait, give me a screwdriver. as well and again it's just got a cross live and neutral. I don't think it's polarized because I can't see any markings on them. Anywho, I'm put the screwdriver in my back pocket so I don't lose it. And I will put the uh the, br the uh, thingies on that hold the shades on as well. Can't remember why I got one off of this one. I think it fell off. Right. Are we good? Are we good? Apart from being noisy, we're good. So, I'll unplug that and just test the other tube. Just to make sure I've picked up a good tube. That reminds me, I've still got one of these laying out back. The broken four foot. These are five foot fittings, by the way. I forgot to mention that, didn't I? Another one full of shit. Right, that goes in there. That goes there. And plug it in. We have good tubes. They actually start pretty quick, to be honest. Right. Thank you. So, put this back together. I think, just to conserve on some battery power, I'll pause you while I put this together, because you've already seen me do one. Right, we're back. It took a lot longer than I expected because I went and got something to eat and whatnot. And I've also gone ahead and stuck in the uh, cable onto this light. Now, I know whether or not this light works. You guys don't, but I do. So, let's not dither and let's plug it in. It's slow to start up, but it does start up. Now it has got a connector block there, big ceramic one, in fact I can show you on this one because it's intact on this one. It is right here. 
knife neutral, I presume that's your earth. I suppose you could use it free the raw because this earth is not actually connected to the chassis. You've got to do that yourself. Which actually makes me wonder where the hell the earth was connected originally because I can't see one on here or on that one. So just for testing purposes I'm going to ignore that for now. I really shouldn't but I'm not fanny arsing around putting a earth on just to see if it lights up or not. Right, screwdriver. I borrowed the other tube from the light on the ceiling because it's a four foot fitting as well. So that's handy. Now, remove the tubes. I had to use a uh, ordinary connector block on this one. Which is going to stay in there. I, oh, one of the neutrals has just popped out. Because uh, all the screw, there's um, a complete connector block missing out of this one, as well as two other screws from the earth. So uh, that's why I had to use a connector block on this one. It's not a big issue though. I just noticed this one's got two screws missing from the centre. Uh, I do have one spare screw because the uh, Fitzgerald light fitting that I took parts from I've actually done that as well I've got the choke there um, I took the screws out of that and put one in the other fitting that uh, was missing a screw so for now this was missing a starter as well so I've got a feeling only one tube was put in this originally when it was up on the ceiling so I just need to I have got a spare screw but I'll get that in a bit and I can't lay this on the bed because that's where Nemo is so I'll put it back over here I think Nemo will uh, be very happy with me not happy with me at the minute because uh, Screw rattling around in there, keep that up that end. We'll try and get it out of there. There's a little self tapper. Oh, a little old wood screw or something. Right. So I've now got to connect up the cable one last time. This is the last fitting for now. Right. Well, yeah, well. Right. Around the right way would be a good idea. And that one's actually missing a bloody screw, that would be, wouldn't it? Right. Let's get the ye old blue white in there then. I hope. This is going to be too fiddly though, then I might just go and get that connector block. Or a connector block. I think it is because that wire just came straight out. Should we try again? I think I've got it that time. Yeah. Right. So I just need to steal a screw from the earth terminal. As there is a screw missing, I bet that's a brass screw, that's not magnetic, is it? <laughs> I'll, st I'll replace a screw in here from the other fitting, so I'll have a full fitting to put up in here. Connected. I hope. Just make sure I have got yeah. <clears throat> Just make sure I had them around the right way. Okay. Yeah, one of these tubes holders are not been put back together right either. Turn that. I had to do the same with the other fitting. Oh. 
This one's not right in. There we go. Horrible crunching noise, these ones that you put in and twist them. There's one. Got two starters in this one, yep. Borrowed a starter out of this one for the other fitting. But, uh, I found one up for this one because I've got loads of spares. Alright, do we work? There we go. That's probably the start for that one, a bit slow. So I could do with a better tube the other side. Yeah, we are working, so I need a brass screw from the other one to put into this one. It's actually quite bright, it'll probably be overkill for up here, but meh, who cares. Take the tubes out for now. See if I can actually assemble it, shall we? light up this end of the room either way because I can't see stuff all. Right. I'm going to put one of these styles back in because this one's got these in it. I've just got this one in there. What's that? Newlec brand. don't know if they still exist. I've got all sorts of spare. I've got loads spare down at Mum's as well. Hell no where I got them all from. these wires down out of the way. So in case you're wondering how these twin tubes work it's basically just two circuits in one. There's two chokes, two stars, two caps, one for each tube. And when your power comes in it just splits it between both tubes. It's simple. Very simple construction. Might as well steal the screws from this one because uh, I don't plan on reusing it, so not that connector because, like I said, one of the actual brass connector blocks is missing. to go in there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I've gone a bit too far the other way now, I can see why. That little brass block in there moves. So I'm going to get to uh, putting this up today, it's getting too late now, so I'll just button this up and put this unit together. If I change the lights around in my shed, I'll sh I might have a third one of these tubes. Uh, I think the light that's above my workbench in there is a fourth footer as well. One. Doing this on a chair that swivels is really not a good idea. Now, 
see what I mean with this um, shade now. <laughs> a bit of chunk out of it. But I couldn't see any parts for this in the skip either, so chances are this cover has probably been up on the ceiling in this condition, to be honest. But you know, it's still going like that, and if I put it up the other way around, because I'll go up that way then. You ain't going to see it. I'll go on the ceiling this way round. I'll tell you what, this is going to be an awkward bastard to put up because this is quite heavy. But uh, there you go. It's one full unit. Because I think the other one might go up in my shed. I think I'll have to have a bit of a rearrange with some fittings to be honest. Oops, I went to move the camera and it shut off, so never mind. I think that is it for this video. I've gone through all the lights. Except one, because I've got to fix the wiring on. In fact, I've nearly done that. I've just got to add some wires to it. I found some uh, little chocolate blocks. Some of these actually fit over those connectors nicely, so all I've got to do is put the wires on. Uh, I'll do that later. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.